Welcome back to my Let's Play of Persona 4, YouTube. Let's continue on going. Watch the Midnight Channel. I went over two minutes in my last recording, so I'm going to see if I can edit it. Get it out into two separate, smaller parts. Good evening! Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise! I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud! Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax! Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming! And I came prepared! I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom! I'm out to catch a whole harem and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine! Well, here I go! <laughs> In the anime, you always tries to record these things. After seeing this bit with her talking about her unmentionables, he keeps trying to record them. And every time Yosuke calls up, he says, You want her copy? Hey, did you see that? That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? Try to contact Chie. You're right. Let's get her to contact you, Kyo-san. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. So it's 7.44. 7.45, that'll be 10 minutes. So, 805, 8.04, oh, I gotta good stop morning. the recording? Yeah, alright. Where's your father? He left already. He said he's gonna be late. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. In America, you would not As leave a kid alo forecast. home alone. Oh, Protective services would out. be uh, on your we ass. Do some laundry. Like that. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Yeah. But yeah, Child Protective Services would be all over Nanako's dad. If this were America and real life. Sorry for the holder. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? Katana. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kind of like this? Or like this? What about this? Two suspicious young males found. One armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Huh? Oh, crap! I mean... No, 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 this, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. Put the weapons down now. Hands where I can see them, too. But, but this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! <laughs> what up? What a threatening manner you're waving those around, Yosuke. Good job. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town, for God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. No. You're sorry. Not my permanent record. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he say Amagi? Hmm? Who's what now? 
Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But, people have been turning up dead on foggy days. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamano was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything. Please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adachi, if that's really your name. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... There you are! Yell it louder. Sheesh, what are you guys doing? Yell a little louder. I've been looking everywhere! Oh, uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up! So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear! I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? Oh! <gasps> What the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. You can go to the victim here, damn it. Not Look, we need to save her. Right. That's the important thing. With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. Hmm. I'm going to. <laughs> and that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! Alright. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen. I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not gonna listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. 
If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. But man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Yay, time to buy stuff. I have none of the items that I had be So basically you were supposed to go and... I have all my money from last time though. I think. From last time I ended the game. But I don't have any of the materials. So basically all the materials you get in the last dungeon you had to have brought to the metalworks before the end of the game to bring it in and get new weapons from it. But it looks like the weapons from last time are still in it, so I'm gonna get myself the Yahiro Sword. And you're gonna get the Hattori. Alright. So basically all the armor and stuff's still there, so I could buy, like, the best stuff. And everything. So at least... Get something like that for them in the beginning. I'll, I'll get better when I get money. So it doesn't carry your ammu your ammunition. It doesn't carry your level over, but it carries the weapons and stuff that you unlocked along the way. So it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. And I'm betting the Commendium there has the higher level personas in it. It seems still. that the time for you to use your persona has come. Your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, 
but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room. It's you! <laughs> Marie? <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. Why are you here? Dunno. It doesn't matter. I know why she's here. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice, and forgive her for her impoliteness. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. Gotcha. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. 